Okay, now for our next group. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, um, I don't know if all of you know this, but Illinois, the Illinois Law Student Authority is unique in that it allows for graduate students in psychology to train in clinical psychopharmacology. Why not? It's part of our training, it's a way of integrating all of our knowledge. But um, so far, we're the only state that allows for that. And um, I was particularly thrilled in February of this year that our APA Council also passed a resolution, seeing what we had done in, Il in Illinois, that um, allows the APA to approve or what we call designate the training of graduate students in clinical psychopharmacology. So we have several graduate students here who would like to come up and talk to you a little bit about their experience, their unique experience really, and their training while still graduate students um, for becoming prescribing psychologists. So Dr. Matt Herring, a newly conferred doctor, Alyssa Cunningham, Samantha Taylor, Morgan Ferris, um, Seth Arion, Seth and you're here, um, and any other students who are here who are doing the training, please come up. Hello. Um, so you guys already heard all about access and all that sort of stuff, so I'll just sort of dive right into it. My name is Samantha. I'm originally from a very small town in Indiana that does not have access to a lot of mental health services, but that's not why I got into this. So while I was doing a master's program and living in Ohio, I was also working at a corrections facility that uh, served mostly people with histories of substance use. Anyone who's worked in corrections or substance use or somewhere adjacent to that knows that when they get a patient referred and they see that they have a bipolar diagnosis, they sort of do this internal eye roll, like here we go. So I see patients with bipolar diagnoses and a list of medications that are heavily, heavily prescribed. And I think to myself, how is this person even walking around? So that was five or six years ago now. Fast forward to 2017, and I'm introduced to Dr. Rob Rummer, and she is telling us about this new wave of treating patients in Illinois. And all I can think of is, if I went through this program, I could make a difference in the lives of the people that I was seeing before, and hopefully the people that I work with in the future. And I cannot wait to be able to do that. And anyone who's a student thinking about doing this, it's totally doable. You can manage it. You're already taking a thousand classes. You can take one more, it's fine. <laughs> and if you have any questions, you're welcome to come and talk to me about it. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Morgan Ferris. Uh, I'm also from a small rural town, Oregon, Illinois, where virtually there are no site resources. If you were to look on psychology today, there would be no social worker, no therapist, no psychologist, no psychiatrist, etc. And so when I thought about this training, I thought about it's not just the access to those, but they also don't have psychoeducation. The school systems don't have the more robust access resources that students need or that people in their careers need. Um, the community as a whole has uh, less awareness or acceptance of mental illness and how to handle that. Um, and for me, it's not just about um, making people their healthiest selves or their most successful self. It's about getting them just that basic access and that comprehensive mental health care. And that is why I'm passionate about what we're doing. Hello, everybody. When I was asked the question that we were going to pose up here about why I wanted to do this, it kind of got me thinking a number of different directions. And I was like, I didn't know which way I wanted to go with it. I mean, we were even just talking at the table about which one really stood out to me about why I did this. And it really gets me thinking about what type of psychologist I wanted to be. And I heard a couple of people talking about maturation. And I really look at it as an evolution as well of the identity of what I want to be when that patient sits in front of me and what I'm capable of doing. Uh, just recently graduated, so, um, and I got an emphasis in child and adolescence. And that was another thing I haven't heard mentioned too many times here. 
as if I want to take this movement that so many people have invested in, and I want to bring into the child and adolescent population as well. This underserved, this access to care, and all of this continues to also affect children and adolescents. And we see these kind of trends in pharmacological agents and the way that they're prescribed and how treatment is handled. And I want to be able to be invested in that, to make a decision for the betterment of the individual in front of me, and to be able to remove some of those barriers that we consistently see. And that was really the answer I landed on, is that I wanted to be that. I wanted to be able to claim that as my psychological identity and be who I wanted to be. What does this mean for me? I don't want to be a neuropsychologist, but I'm really interested in health psychology, integrated care in teams, and being in a medical setting. Right now I'm at the Milwaukee VA and you see that, and it's so prevalent. But even there it's hard to get access to psychiatrists. And especially if we're referring out to the community, it's near impossible to get these people who are in rural Milwaukee or rural Wisconsin to be able to find some people who can actually help them. So to me it's really important if we're in integrated care to be even more integrated, have more tools in our toolbox. And thanks to Dr. Rodriguez Menendez for being part of the Chicago School to allow us to do this, the first in the nation as students. Because to me, it just makes sense. We're already in school. Let's learn more while we're still in that learning mode. So to me, it just makes sense. And I'm honored to be up here and be part of this. And thank you to Beth, of course, for helping us and Dr. Rodriguez Menendez for helping us really be part of this. My name is Seth Arian. Uh, I first met Dr. Rob Meimer while I was doing my undergraduate at the University of Illinois. And while I was at the University of Illinois, I worked on the crisis line there for four years. And one thing that I got a call about all of the time was um, asking if I could get them in to see a psychiatrist. And there was people that would tell me that they had as long as two years before they could see somebody to get the psychotropic medication that they needed. And so when I listened to uh, Dr. Ron Reimer speak about the big law and being passed, I knew that I wanted to be a uh, part of this movement. Um, and so I've got quite a few years ahead of me, but I'm excited to uh, continue to be part of it. Thank you. All of the students and early career psychologists in the room, please stand up. Thank you all for your interest and passion about the field.